Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Unique Bio Classes based on NCRT syllabus for first and PUC first and second year. If you like my channel, please subscribe, share, hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications as soon as videos are getting uploaded. Okay, we shall proceed today with the need classes. In this need class, first we shall discuss about the question number 18. In the previous video, we have discussed about question number 17. Okay. So in this we have which of the following is a commercial blood cholesterol lowering agent which one is going to lower the cholesterol level in the body that is in the blood. We have options statin, streptokinase, lipases and cyclosporin A. Cyclosporin A it is used as immunosuppressive agent. Okay it is used as immunosuppressive agent and uh, an immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients and it is produced by trichoderma polysporum next you have lipases lipases is nothing but an enzyme this enzyme is used in detergents to remove stains okay next you have streptokinase streptokinase is produced by streptococcus it is used to streptococcus it is used to remove clot bust or it is used as a clot buster in myocardial infarction patient and a statin it is produced by yeast called as monascus purpureus and its function is to come it is function is to lower the blood blood cholesterol okay because it will inhibit the enzyme which is going to help in the production of enzyme and production of cholesterol okay so this question you will get from second year microbes in human welfare and its page number is 183 so correct answer is statin okay next questions variations caused by mutation okay because of mutations variations are caused as you know mutations are nothing but single base pair single base pair changes or uh, many base pair changes when dna sequences is getting changed you will find there will be a variations this was proposed by Hugo de Vries. Okay, as you know, according to Hugo de Vries, mutations are random and directionless, small and directional, small and directionless, or random and directional, which must be the correct answer. So, according to Hugo de Vries, random and directionless is the uh, mutation, whereas small and directional, this is given by Darwin, not by Hugo de Vries. This small and directional is by Darwin. Random and directionless is by Hugo de Vries. So this question you will get from evolution chapter in from second year page number 185. Okay. From page number 185 or page number 135 you will get this. Okay. Then next question we have cells in G0 phase. If you remember cell cycle in first year you have something like this which has two major phases one is M phase another one is interface right interface it do have three different phases in that G1 S and G2 phase whenever cell starts to divide first it will uh, start to prepare itself then it will undergo M phase so that it will divide after division there is one more phase called as G0 phase sometimes uh, some cells will enter in G0 phase G0 phase is also called cell coison phase in this G0 phase cells will take rest and they will proceed with the differentiation so that they can become tissues and organs now these cells they can either enter into the next cell cycle or they can get entered into G0 phase as you will find this is a parental cell after division you will find two daughter cells now few of the cells now one of that cell can enter into G0 phase so that it can become a tissue or organ if the same cell if it is entering into G1 phase which means it is getting prepared for the next cell cycle to form two more daughter cells if it is entering into G0 phase then what happens it will differentiate to become tissue or an organ so in cells in G0 phase what does it take place enter the cell cycle no when cells are in G0 phase they does not enter the cell cycle they will suspend the cell cycle no they will terminate the cell cycle no they will exit the cell cycle yes they are taking an, an exit from the cell cycle okay why they won't suspend or terminate because other cells are there which are going to continue the cell cycle so this question is from first year page number 164 okay you will get the answer there next you have select the correct option they have given four sentences so in this you have to choose which one is the correct one 11th and 12th pairs of ribs are connected to sternum with the help of hyaline cartilage 
this is the sentence now but 11th and 12th pairs of ribs are not connected to the sternum it should be are not connected this is the correct sentence but they have given they are connected so this one is the wrong option okay next we shall see the next one and uh, these ribs are called as floating ribs floating ribs second one each rib is a flat thin bone and all the ribs are connected dorsally to the thoracic vertebrae and ventrally to the sternum each rib is a flat yes thin bone and all the ribs are connected dorsally to the vertebral column not to the thoracic rib. this should not be there it should be vertebral column if vertebral column it is then the sentence is right because it is thoracic vertebrae so that sentence is wrong next okay next one third one uh, there are seven pairs of there are seven pairs of vertebro sternal three pairs of vertebro chondral and two pairs of vertebral ribs here this one is correct there are seven pairs of vertebro sternal three pairs of vertebro chondral this vertebro chondral is nothing but your false bones okay false ribs not false bones false ribs whereas these uh, two pairs of vertebral ribs are uh, floating ribs okay these are floating ribs which are those two 11th and 12th okay so this is the correct sentence there is nothing mistake in that so this must be the correct answer we shall see the next one 8th 9th and 10th pairs of ribs articulate directly with the sternum no it should be they do not articulate okay ribs do not articulate with the directly with the sternum this must be the correct answer okay but here this sentence is wrong first sentence second sentence and fourth third one is correct so correct answer is third one so this you will get from the first year textbook page number three one zero okay next next question question number 22 which of the following is the most important cause for animals and plants being driven to extinction so animals and plants they are getting extinct because of which important reason important cause or important reason there you are there are many reasons but which one is the major one that you have to identify first one is drought and floods then economic exploitation alien species invasion and habitat loss and fragmentation okay in this drought and floods this is a very dry condition and even because of cyclone and all uh, that uh, extinction of species can take place yes economic exploitation economic exploitation it is not related to here economic exploitation is nothing but gain or profit through production distribution and consumption of goods and services because of consumption of goods and services what profit we are gaining for that we call it as economic exploitation this is not directly related to extinction indirectly it might get related so this option will be eliminated alien species invasion yes this is also a cause for extinction this alien species invasion it is of a small area <coughs> when any other species enters in this region the uh, present species which are inhabiting this area those are getting extinct not of a large area but this is also a one of the reason habitat loss and fragmentation this habitat loss and fragmentation and fragmentation it is related to the forest as the forest is the home of a lot of animals so these forests if they are getting uh, uh, fragmented then there will be a lot of extinction so with this these three are the reasons for extinction but major or most important is habitat loss and fragmentation now this question it has been arised from second year that you will get from page number 264 okay from page number 264 right we shall proceed with the next <coughs> next question you have here is what map unit what map unit centimorgan centimorgan is the unit of this which is in short form we are giving something like this like cm centimorgan is adopted in the construction of genetic maps these genetic maps we have used in a fifth chapter where uh, thomas hunt morgan is a student student he has talked about linkage maps okay that linkage map unit they are discussing but exactly sentence or this map unit is not there in the textbook but related to this we have some information there okay so in this you can find we shall see what are this a unit of distance between two expressed genes representing 100% crossing over okay what they are asking what is a map unit 
okay in easiest term we can understand this question what is the map unit a unit of distance between two expressions representing 100% crossover no it is 1% crossover they have given 100% 1% 50% or 10% it is 1% crossover not any other this will be the correct definition for the map unit this you have some related information regarding this but not exactly in your NCRT textbook if you wanted to check you have on page number 83 okay that crossover crossover we have given something like this these are the chromosomes which where crossover takes plus one percent crossover what distance is there in this we call it as map unit okay or linkage map it is represented by a unit called a centimorgan uh, you can get this question what is the unit of the map unit that is centimorgan okay this is about this question next next you have about respiratory quotient respiratory quotient value of tripalmitin if you remember this is from first year carbohydrate its respiratory quotient is 1 protein its respiratory quotient is 0 0.9 whereas fats its respiratory quotient is 0 0.7 here 0 0.7 0 0.07 0 0.09 and 0 0.9 but option is 0 0.7 fats tripalmitin comes under fats or fatty acids so it is a 0 0.7 what is rq rq is nothing but volume of carbon dioxide evolved by volume of oxygen consumed okay this is the rq how much carbon dioxide is evolved and how much oxygen is consumed during respiration of a particular substrate might be a carbohydrate protein or a fat for fat it is 0 0.7 okay so this one is from your first year it comes from page number 237 okay it is a direct question okay next which of the following glucose transporters is insulin dependent glucose transporters the name itself shows the one which is going to transport glucose and it is dependent on insulin which one is that here we have GLUT2, GLUT1, GLUT4 and GLUT3 we shall give it as GLUT3 okay anyhow GLUT means what glucose transporters okay glucose transporters type 1 type 2 glucose transporter type 1 glucose transporter type 4 glucose transporter type 3 these these are the full forms of it now we shall see what are their function first we shall start with the glucose trans transporter 1 it is going to transport glucose across a plasma membrane of mammalian cells especially in the erythrocytes okay once again I'll repeat a glucose transporter one it is used to transport glucose across plasma membrane of mammalian cells in erythrocytes erythrocytes are what that is RBCs red blood cells these are not dependent on insulin for functioning of this GLUT1 next we shall see GLUT2 GLUT2 is a transporter of glucose between liver and the blood it is going to transport glucose between liver and the blood GLUT3 its function is also same transport glucose across plasma membrane of mammalian cell especially in neurons and the brain okay for a glut one we said it is also going to transport glucose across plasma membrane of mammalian cells in erythrocytes here it is neurons and a brain glut four it is of what glut four it is insulin dependent okay it is insulin regulated glucose transporter found in adipose tissue and striated muscles so correct option is GLUT4. I am repeating once again about GLUT4. GLUT4 glut transporter, it is insulin regulated glucose transporter found in adipose tissue and striated muscles. Okay, now this question you don't have in your textbook, but related to this, you have in your first year okay in your first year last chapter there you have about uh, insulin and something but you, there is no mentioning of glut or something there but in future we might get it but for time being there is no mentioning of glut in your textbook okay this is the question which we have got other than syllabus like we have got centimorgan uh, or map unit and another question is about this but you should know about this information anyhow next one persistent nucellus in the seed is known as okay persistent useless residual persistent useless in the seed is known as perisperm this is very direct a question here it is perisperm next you have hilum tegman and chalaza hilum is a what it is a scar on seed is it scar on seed coat which helps in which helps to attach to fruit okay 
hilum is a scar on a seed coat which helps the seed to attach to fruit okay tegmen it is a inner seed coat outer testa inner seed coat is called as tegmen next chalaza it is a basal part of a ovule chalaza it is a basal part of the ovule but all these are not the correct answer for this question the answer is perisperm very direct question from second year page number 36 okay fine now the rest two terms you will get from the first year and second year both are there next you will find the next question about theobacillus we shall see next question we have about theobacillus okay theobacillus is a group of bacteria helpful in carrying out what okay you have chemoautotrophic fixation nitrification denitrification or nitrogen fixation this you will get from your first year okay it is denitrification theobacillus and pseudomonas these are the two uh, microorganisms which are used for denitrification chemoautotrophic fixation and uh, nitrification uh, these bacteria are used that uh, nitrosomonas nitrococcus and nitrobacter okay these are used there theobacillus and uh, uh, pseudomonas are used in denitrification this is also a direct question from first year page number 201 okay next question expressed sequence tags refers to what expressed sequence tags second year students you might be knowing this uh, from the sixth chapter you have this expressed sequence tags ESTS polypeptide expression dna polymorphism novel dna sequences or genes expressed as rna okay we shall see polypeptide expression whether it is expressing as polypeptide as you know polypeptide is nothing but a protein it is a dna polymorphism which means it is uh, some particular sequence is repeating many a times novel dna sequences novel dna sequences means what novel dna sequences are the dna sequences present in at least one human and absent in reference genome it is present in one unit one particular dna sequence is present in one genome one human but it is absent in the genome okay for that we call it as novel dna sequences gene expressed as rna okay ests are genes which are expressed as rna this is the correct answer uh, this will get from page number 119 okay direct question it was next next we shall see Tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume of an athlete is 500 ml. Tidal volume is 500 ml. Expiratory reserve volume is 1000 ml. Of an athlete, they are saying, but the what 500 ml and 100 ml they have mentioned, uh, it is related to uh, normal respiration. Respectively, what will be his expiratory capacity if the residual volume is 1200 ml? Residual capacity, residual volume is 1200 ml what is the expiratory capacity this they have asked okay options they have given 1700 ml 2200 ml and then 2700 ml and 1500 ml so we shall see what must be the answer okay tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume they said 500 and 1000 tidal volume is 500 expiratory er expiratory reserve volume is 1000 ml okay and they have given residual volume as 1200 ml but question is what is the expiratory capacity as you know expiratory capacity we can get by tb plus erv will get expiratory capacity okay so tb we have 500 plus erv is 1000 so how much you will get expiratory capacity will be 1500 ml so option is four, fourth this will be the correct option now this sir uh, you have many confusing terms in your respiration chapter so there you have on page number 272 okay page number 272 in first year textbook you will get this answer you will get the information regarding this this is how you are going to calculate okay hope you got the answer and I hope you have understood the other questions also. If you have any doubt, any queries, please comment it in the comment box so that I can rectify and uh, clear your doubt. Okay. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe, like and share and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy.